With Batch Manager, you can create your own batches for bill of materials, IFC export, merge parameters, and update parameters. What does it mean in reality? Let me create selection set for update parameters. I will select some parameters to update on ventilation, piping, and electrical. And then I will save this as a selection set. It's a .xml file. I will not update anything. Then I will create the same also for merge parameters. There are some parameters that will be merged and uh, I will create a selection set uh, for those parameters. Now I have selection sets for uh, update parameters and merge parameters. Next I will create a batch process where I will include the selection sets from update parameters and merge parameters. Under batch processes tab, I will include merge parameters and update parameters into my batch process. To perform the batch process correctly, I need to select selection sets for update parameters and merge parameters. After I'm done with my selections, I will save my batch process. Batch process can be performed directly with the close and run button. Both merge parameters and update parameters will be performed according the selection sets. Batch process will always create a log file, which you can review later on to see what has re really happened during the process. There's also another process, reactive processes. There you can, uh, for example, determine whether you want to trigger the, in this case, update all batch process when the save button is uh, activated in Revit. Again, I will save my selections under batch manager and then I will save my project to see the reactive process on work. Finally, the batches are processed and the necessary tasks are done.